Hi there. Um, usually I do a lot of cooking shows, you know, Tuesdays and Fridays, but today I need to get this out of my chest. I am really getting sick and tired of people creating a lot of drama over the stupidest things that should have never even happened in the first place. I had a next door neighbor who she and her family had just moved out recently and everything to a different town far from here. Well, anyway, what had happened was there was a lot of drama. There was rumors going, terrible rumors going around about her that wasn't even true. I mean, I know I've had things being said about me too that ruined, you know, potential careers and everything too, or have got me fired from my job because, or even kept me from getting promoted because of, some, you know, something like that. Whether it's because you didn't want to join a church and neither did your spouse who grew up in that church want to join that church for his own personal reasons that he decided long before and so on and so forth. I hate to say this. But it's all a bunch of, then of course there's people that are just dumb enough to believe these uh, drama creators and everything. I always call them the queen bees and the flying monkeys. You know, always wanting to go around and say, oh, that he or she did this and that, when actually, no, it wasn't even true and everything. Well, after all it was said and done, people just got tired of it. And they just said, that's it. I'm through. I'm through with it. Some people leave their hometowns, go to other towns where nobody knows them, get a fresh start, you know, a bigger city and everything where nobody cares. Nobody's going to say anything. But... I've noticed that it's, it's really terrible in small towns, but it's not so bad in larger cities. Because most people do not listen to gossip. I know that, you know, in a smaller town, you pre there's not a variety of people to really associate with. But, you know, so my town is pretty diverse, but still, you pretty much still see the same people practically almost every day in everything. Unless you're homesick or, you know, or you're really busy or something like that. You pretty much see the same people. Yes, big cities do have turn high turnover rates. Either you'll make it or it'll break you. But still, the best thing you do is do your very best. All I'm going to say is this. Stay away from the gossip. Stay away from the drama. You don't need it. It's not good for you. It's just going to cause you more heartache than anything else. This is the reason why I stay to myself. And I just do my cooking show twice a week. And yes, we do eat our own food. Or if we, do, if we had more than enough, we'll give some of it away to people we know and everything. Or we'll, you know, can or freeze some of it, depending on what it is. But I'm going to tell you one thing to each and every one of you out there. Just stay away from the gossip. It's not good for you. There are, depending on religion you practice, because there's a variety of religions out there, they're going to say the same thing. Members of the clergy, don't listen to gossip and don't partake in it either. Don't don't tell gossip. You know, just say, hey, you know, if it's like news like saying, hey, so-and-so is moving to maybe one or two of your closest neighbors, that's fine. But anyway... It's crazy. 
Word got around, of course. I only told two other neighbors that generally stayed with themselves that my next door neighbor lady is moving. Sure, one neighbor who's kind of, you know, has some problems and everything, all blew out of proportion saying that my next door neighbor was my best friend when actually my husband's my best friend and she has a best friend of her own. And I told her that. I said, well, I consider you a close neighbor. And I said next door neighbor. That's all I said. But anyway, <laughs> it was crazy, to tell you the truth. But I cannot complain. Yes, there has been a lot of lies being told and everything all over. But the best thing to do in cases like this is don't listen to it at all. It is what it is that people are always going to gossip. But yes, what caused is, you know, it all happened over a year ago. She was dating this one guy, and it turned out he was two-timing on my next-door neighbor lady and another lady that lives in the neighborhood. Well, my next-door neighbor lady told him to get lost, and she moved on with her life. And, of course, the neighbor lady constantly blamed her and start spreading lies about her and just rumors and everything. And even, you know, almost co it has costed her jobs in the past. But in the end, it wasn't just her. The same neighbor lady was doing it to other single women in the neighborhood. Now, me, I barely knew the guy. I never talked to him or anything like that. I knew about him, what kind of person he is. And I avoided him like the plague and everything. But all I'm saying is this, don't get involved in the gossip, and if you do see something, I you know, a smear campaign, just say that thing, especially if it has a lot to do with your next door neighbor, and you know that person's character very well, just say that and show it to the cops, and say, yeah, this is under my windshield wiper blade, and I don't appreciate gossip like this being, you know, put under my windshield wiper, because I don't listen to it. It is what it is. Well, that's all I have to say for now. Everybody have a great weekend. And remember, there's always somebody out there that's always going to cause problems. Either stick around and fight back, or you can leave. If it gets to be too much, I understand. It can get really bad at times. And there are people, especially in small towns, are very notorious for that that just do not know how to just stay out of things and don't concern themselves with it. Bye for now.